What's up agents and welcome back to another division build video. Before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more division videos or even better come on over to Twitch, I could be streaming live right now, hit that follow button and if you need a community discord there's never been a better time to join, you'll find that link down below in the description and with all that said let's get cracking. So today we're going to talk about the Scorpio and the u Xena gear set that was recently added in TU15 and how we can use that new gear set to make a really awesome DPS build, even though it's a blue set. Uh, and this is what I've thrown together. It's just really good. Again, a fun build to play. You can... I'll put some gameplay at the end. You can throw yourself through a heroic, throw yourself into countdown, and never really have to worry about anything. And the reason why is we're getting half of our armor back every time we kill something. So you can see here the armor on kill is almost half of our armor, almost 500k there every time we kill something. Uh, and therefore, we just really don't have to worry about uh, about healing or being in cover or, or anything like that. Because the Scorpio as well, along with the Hunter's Fury buffs that we get, uh, just makes the enemies disorientated. They're all over the place. They're all kinds of crazy all the time. And it's just absolutely easy and insane to play with. Uh, we have waited in with some blues on this because Yuzina does come with blue. So we've kept the two blo blue core attributes here uh, and on the backpack you can see what i've gone with is adrenaline rush so whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy gain 20 percent bonus armor for five seconds and that'll stack three times and that works really well with this build because we're always up close and personal the using a gear set bonuses a total armor five percent and ten percent armor on kill playing into the theme of the build and then if we look at the mask you can see again Critical hit chance, crit hit damage, armor on kill in the mod. And then we're running an older gear set. We're not running Heartbreaker. We're going to run the Hunter's Fury. Now, this is a red gear set predominantly. So this is where we get all of our damage. Rolled in with crit chance and an armor on kill mod. If you feel like you're getting too much armor on kill back, by all means, throw in some critical hit damage in these mods. You don't have to copy what I have done. See how you feel when you play in the build. The talent on the chest in, it increases Apex Predator from 10 seconds to 30. And Apex Predator is basically all of our damage from this talent. So enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff. And that's the red square you see above the head. Amplifying your damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy within your weapon. Uh, with your weapon. Disorientates other enemies within 5 meters. And amplifies weapon damage for 5% for 10 seconds. And that can stack up to five times. And that's, so that's a lot of extra damage between them two parts. But 10 seconds is just too short. So we're running the chest because then we get some freedom to run around. And if you're in a group as well and you're not getting all of the kills, the 30 seconds is super, super useful. If you want to look at all the other pieces, you can see here on the gloves, I've got weapon damage and crit damage. On the knees, I've got weapon damage and crit chance. And on the holster, I've got weapon damage and critical hit chance. And it just makes everything really, really easy. I've gone with a Defender Drone. You could go with the Shield if you wanted to. Your choice. And I've gone, because we are running and gunning, expect to go down sometimes. So the Reviver Hive is there to save us when that actually happens. I've gone with Gunner for the specialization. The reason being that has some armor on kill built in as well. So just to add to that extra percentage. And as you can see, there it is. It grants 10% uh, killing enemies uh, the, in the tree. Just remember what guns you're using. So shotgun, be specced into that. SMG on my side as well. So I'm specced into that. And that's the glory of this. Although I've named this video a Scorpio build to run with the new gear set, I can switch over to my Dark Winter and do lots of damage. You can throw on a Backfire if you're not bothered about the build. You can throw... The bleed you can put on a lady death uh, any shotgun smg that's relatively good a chatterbox or anything like that is going to work really well with this build because of all the armor you get back on kill 
and that's really the theme of what this is all about and it's nice to use the new gear set obviously we know we can stack armor on kill in other ways uh, and you can actually stack armor on kill a lot higher than this but the because of the or all the problems that the scorpio gives the bad guys so it, it you know it disorientates them it shocks them and then they start taking extra damage and then you've also got the disorientate from this as well when you kill them within range it just makes for a really fun and a really easy build to run with so let's take a quick look at the stats on the scorpio i'm a couple of shots here from 50 percent because i'm not optimized on one of the pieces uh, but if you wanted to be close to 60 which is where you really want to be at uh, what you could do is swap out one of the mods so you'll get less armor on kill uh, but you will be at 60 percent critical hit well 56 percent critical hit chance which is close enough for this kind of build i'm quite happy with the scorpio being on 50 because when you flick over to the smg that is on 60 uh, so when i'm flicking between both of these guns i'm quite happy at that being as that is uh, but we'll flip back to the scorpio again just so you can see that so the critical hit damage is nearly 90 percent got 65 percent headshot damage uh, and then on the smg we're at 60, 93.7 and 70%. But the all important attribute here is this armor on kill being 486. The enemies just go down so quick and your life just comes straight back. So really, really nice. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you run something like this or are you too busy running Heartbreaker right now? Don't forget to hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll come on over to Twitch. I'll throw some footage at the end. Thanks for watching. Gate. 